Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to be talking about our money, your money. We had a ACH issue, another one. Uh, we see it often in the precious metals industry. Stacy gets to see it all the time. Banks are wanting to hold on to their money. They don't want you to have real money. Uh, it's obvious. And there was a hiccup with SNAP. There's been a general come out that said, we're pretty much doomed. We're not going to see election in 2024. Uh, it's Everything's happening faster, and I'm glad you could be here. My name's yep. Chris. This is Stacy. This is the Financial Prepper Channel. Yeah, let's get into it. So, you guys, that glitch happened the other day with the ACH, Bank of America, Chase, Wells Fargo. I think there was a few other banks with the automated clearinghouse. And it hit the news big, and everybody's like, oh, my goodness, what, what's going on? Because you couldn't get your deposits. I see this so many times every single week, and I tell Chris, ACH deposits are becoming, and withdrawals are becoming harder and harder. They're, they're holding the funds. They're either telling you they don't have them yet, or they're not releasing them yet to the next bank. They're just outright saying no. Well, that's wire In transfers. Some oh, well, okay, sorry. ACHs, they're still going through, but it's becoming a little bit harder to get them through. It yeah, we talk like. about them all the time. It's crazy. Yeah. Um, but they're just making it hard, you know. Yeah. Uh, it, it's introducing the digital dollar. Wire transfers, fix it all. they're actually flat out denying. And so I'm having to get special approval for ACHs. But, so I kind of paused for a moment when this article came out. And I was telling Chris, I was like, what does this really mean? So I kind of did a little digging and some research. And you guys, I found some really interesting stuff. I am not going to play this video because it's nowhere on YouTube. It's only on Twitter. And we do not need another strike. But guys, there is a colonel, Douglas McGregor. There is a video out of an interview with him that was done a few months ago. And he clearly states that he, one, he thinks that banks are going to close down for two to three weeks at times. And he says, we probably will not see an election in 2024. Well, that's a quote. A quote, I think we'll wake up one day and the banks will be closed for two or three weeks. Yep. No one will be able to get into them. That's a quote from the general. That's a colonel. A colonel, yep. sorry. Um, just kind of think through that. Yep. Could you make it for two or three weeks? Do you have a nest egg? Do you have, are you being your own bank with precious metals? I know a lot of people that do that. Um, just, it's something to think about and yes. really kind of, that. it's easy to think about it. It's hard to take action. That's yes. the thing. Yep. So. Well, it's easy to going. sit here and talk about it. Yeah. But when you really process it and work through it, and you guys, I want you to watch this video. I'll put it in the description. I'm not going to put it in this video because I do not want to have a strike against us. But that's what he said. So, you guys, based on that, there's also been SNAP. SNAP has had a few issues, which that's the government program. Apparently, they're having a few also hiccup issues processing their payments. So, I was like, all right, what's going on with these hiccups or these glitches or whatever? And I started doing a little bit of research. And I was telling Chris, I was like, interestingly enough, completely slid under the radar which, by the way, that colonel also says Ukraine is going to lose the war and it's going to be a complete hoax. So we'll see what happens because we've got two wars going on right now. They slid it completely under the radar, a resolution on Iran. And I was listening and trying to figure out what was going on. And I found a video that said nobody's talking about this. And they are basically saying this happened November the 1st. Nobody's talking about it on the news. And they are going to say they're going to use all means necessary to prevent Iran from becoming nuclear ready. Well, guess what, you guys? Who is backing the stuff that's going on in the Gaza? The Hamas. We kind of already know that. And on the heels of that, now an, an article just came out. Where we were talking about this. Mm -hmm. Yeah, the cyber attacks. Yeah. Uh, U.S. officials hold their breath for Iran, Iranian cyber attacks. Yep. This is the new war. So we're this, used to Russia and China, but now they're saying critical, critical infrastructure owners and operators are stepping up securities as the U.S. government keeps a close eye on involving threats to Iran in the cyberspace. They are prepping for a potential onslaught of Iranian cyber attacks in retaliation for our support on Israel. The U.S. government is prepping. I mean, they've come out and said this, you guys, and all of a sudden we have glitches with the automated clearinghouse. We also have issues with SNAP. So where do you put your money? That's the question I get asked daily. Yep. Control the food, control the people, control the money, control the world. 
it's uh these cyber attacks are just getting started i think i think this is going to be a but be careful any email you get that you don't know any uh, there's all kind of different cyber attacks we've done a video on all the phishing and there's malware and there's all kind of different ones but uh, what's scary about the cyber attacks now is the people are paying yeah ransom we never used to pay ransom that's like a no-no that's a green light to do more cyber attacks but they're so bad they're paying they you know, they've got them in a death grip. We did one in, and it was a hospital. They had to pay. Yep. There were people's lives at stake, and so they actually had to pay that ransom. There's another one that you guys, if you purchase from us and you get a text that says, oh, we didn't get enough information to deliver your package, that is a scam that will steal your identity. Do not click I, on that. I got one from the post office yesterday. Had a picture of the uh, postal, and yep. it, they had my address on there, my phone number. It made it really look legit, but yep. I knew. The, the post office is not going to send me a text. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? They're, and uh, Amazon, you'll get Amazon ones, you'll get, you know, there's everybody, not everybody, sorry. A lot of people are it's, trying to scam you. It, it's like that. You have to think, okay, the person on the other side of the table could possibly be trying to scam me. And I hate, I, I'm really pretty optimistic about the people being good in general. But when it comes to somebody you don't know mm -hmm. that's another thing i'm getting uh phone calls and text messages yes. 15 to 20 times a day of people acting like they know me uh and some of it's just they're trying to sell me something but obviously my number's been sold uh but it is really getting old when you're working and you've got gloves on you got to take all the stuff off to answer the phone and it's a scam and it happens 20 times a day it's really getting old um Craigslist scams. I did the video on that a while back. Uh, I'm thinking that guy might have sold me information because I tore him a new one. <laughs> but anyway. Well, and, and here's the crazy thing is so far, knock on wood, mine hasn't too bad. By the way, if you've made it to the this portion of the video, at the end of the video, I'm going to give away a piece of silver and I'm going to tell you how. We're going to give away a buffalo. Thanks, Eric, for providing five of these. We've already given away one. This will be the second one. And you guys have asked me when I got the Morgans in to show you what they look like. So this is what it is on one side. And let's see, that's what it is on that side. So I just got those in. Since I've been working with Miles Franklin for almost two years now, we've never got these in before. So I'm really excited. But let's talk about some solutions. Okay. Um, what do you do, because I get people call and ask every single day, pretty much daily, what do you do with your money then? If you can't keep it in the bank, what do you do? So what are some of the things that we do? I would come up with a percentage. Uh, the wealthy think in percentages. And if you'll decide, hey, I want this much percentage in cash. I want this much percentage in precious metals. I want this much percentage in crypto. Whatever it may be, it makes it easier to take action. Because, you know, it's like, okay. it, yeah. And, and if you'll set those goals when this does happen, because I believe it will it will happen. We will be without a bank. You won't be able to get your funds for two or three weeks or longer or less. I don't know. Something like that's going to happen. It's going to be chaos. And if you have that in place, um, you're not going to be snatching and grabbing like everybody else, going hungry and everything, you know, all the above. You also need to think about where you're going to put it. Are you going to put it in a safe? Who are you going to let know? Uh, are you going to, you know, you know, that's for you to decide. We don't keep any precious metals at home. We have, I'm fortunate enough to have a safe place. Uh, my grandfather taught me a long time ago, you know, you're going to give somebody whatever, you know, if they put a gun to your head, they're going to give, you're going to give them whatever you got. So there's no sense in keeping it at your house. I'm telling you, find a safe place to put it away from your home, if that makes sense. And don't put it in a bank deposit. Or like a bank, one of those little uh, things you rent, mm -hmm. a security deposit. Do not put it in that because if the bank closes their doors, you can't get you it. Can't get and it. if they raid the bank, which they did one of them the other day, they took everybody's precious metals and people are still fighting to get that back. So that's my advice. Take it for what it's worth. This is not personal. This is not financial advice, but this is some of the stuff I wrote down. Tell me what you think and what, what you, first off, I said, pay off your debt. 
If you have credit card debt or school debt, I would recommend paying that off if you've got cash on hand. Do you agree or not? Paying off uh, cr credit card debt? Yes, yes, immediately. So if you had, so the, people were asking, what do you do with cash? And I said, well, in my opinion, if you have credit card debt or school debt, I would pay that off. Because that is a trap that will bury you with the interest well, rates. Well, there's nowhere you can go to make 20% on your money. And that's what they're getting. Yep. You know, so, and we don't have time. You know, if you're freaked out and you think, uh, you know, it's going to happen next week, you know, I, I, I've talked to people that a, year, a couple years ago, they wanted to buy precious metals. And I said, man, you, don't you have a lot of credit card debt? Yeah, yeah, but, but I, I, you know, the price is going to go up. I said, no, 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 no. That's not the thing to do. And sure enough, the price went down. So, and, and he's still paying that 20%. It's, mm -hmm. it's a trap. They've, they've, I hate it. I hate it. Uh, and if you're one of those people that absolutely have to to eat, Think through it. Try to come up with a different way if you can. Well, this is just some things I wrote down. So I said, also, I think you should have cash on hand. He just mentioned that earlier. Obviously, don't keep it on your person, but I think you do. If the banks do, which that colonel said, you guys can see the, the interview, if the banks do close their doors, which, by the way, another bank just closed their doors, citizens out of Iowa, FDIC, took over them. They supposedly said your funds are still available, but they will be through a different bank. I don't know how fast you'll be able to get them, though. So what is that? I don't know how many banks now have been taken over by the oh, FDIC now this year. So you that's guys, a lot. that's another one. So if the banks were to close, that's one of the things I think you should do. And I also think you should have food on hand. We talked about this. This is just simple solutions. We even take some of our funds and we pay somebody to raise a cow for us mm -hmm. or a calf. And they deliver it once a year. So that's another place that you can put your funds. You can pay somebody. That would provide food for you. Um, I said maybe a generator, some dehydrator, a freeze dryer, seed dispensers, seeds. That's, These were some I would of the put things. That on top of the list. Seeds and seed dispensers. Yeah. Okay. That's well, this a, is just some of the stuff I came no, up with. No, I can't imagine being overseas where you know they're literally raping and pillaging yep. and not having a seed dispenser. And a pile of seeds. Uh, I talk about my buddy Luke all the time. I don't make any money from mentioning him. I just that's who I buy my seeds and seed dispensers from. And he's handles bulk. Uh, mm -hmm. His phone number and email will be in the description as well. Yep. Good friend. I've known him my whole life. He'll do you right. But uh, his name's Luke. It'll be in the description. Uh, but that's uh, looking like priority. And I've been calling it the Home Protection 401k mm -hmm. so far. It has been going up in value. It has been. And the excess that I have purchased and put away, uh, you know, it's kind of like I don't really want to get rid of it now. But. Well, we've had several people reach out to us. Sorry, I keep turning around looking worry. at you. <laughs> but we had several people reach out to us from other countries. And you know what they, they have said? That they don't have rights to own seed and seed dispensers. They have said specifically, you guys do not give up that right they have put it in the comments. They have contacted us. They have emailed us. And they have told the situations that they're in. Remember seeing some of those emails? And they have said, do not give up that right. And then the other thing I had was, of course, precious metals. You guys, you know I sell it. You don't have to buy it from me. We believe in it, though. And uh, the prices are, premiums are pretty good right now. Spot has gone up a little bit. But you guys, still at the end of the day, it's a great place just to put your funds, to put your money, I believe. Yeah, shop around. Go a couple other places first. I always get three bids, whether I'm doing dirt work or a roof on a rent house or whatever. I always get three bids. And make Stacy your third bid. Yep. Keeps everybody honest. And yep. we desire for you to get the best price and for you to have precious metals. It's that simple. That's it. All right, you guys. Let's end this with a silver giveaway. So we're going to do hashtag Buffalo in the comments. I am going to wait until tomorrow at 5 p.m. And then I'm going to go all back through the comments and I'm going to just, oh, there's a butterfly just flew in front of my mm. face. What is like that movie? Maybe she's shopping for a hat. That's in, that's in a girly movie. You digress. <laughs> all right, you guys. Buffalo giveaway. Hashtag Buffalo. And that's all I got. Thanks for getting off the track Absolutely. Here. Guys, have an awesome, awesome day. We'll see you in the next one later.